Hey there guys, what's up? Hope everything is going fantastic for you all today. Um, right now, we have got a brand new tutorial. Um, we're going back to the DVD Studio Pro series. I know we haven't touched on this for a little while. Um, we, you know, we've been working on some different things and those have been a lot of fun. Um, however, I thought you know it might, be, um, it might be a good time to kind of go back and finish up this little series that we um, started a while back. Um, so I've got a couple more of these coming your way um, over the next couple weeks. Hope you guys enjoy these and um, let's jump right in. So um, today in this one, we're going to be looking at how to kind of create a graphics intro to a DVD. I know a lot of DVDs, um, a lot of professional quality DVDs, um, they do something along these lines where it's kind of like maybe a little bit of a graphics intro, kind of highlighting some of the different um, scenes or the different major plot lines in um, a certain movie. Or maybe just a kind of a cool graphics, maybe it's for a demo reel. You got, you know, a bunch of fancy things, got some explosions going on. You know, really it's whatever you guys want to do. Um, quickly, I'm going to show you guys um, a little bit of an example. Um, this one is something that Apple ships with their program Motion uh, as part of the, you know, the Final Cut Studio Suite. Um, and all it is is kind of like a bunch of different circles, kind of resembling something of a speaker. Um, so maybe this could be for, um, something for a band concert, um, or, you know, who knows what it could be. But anyways, as you just saw, that was a little bit of an intro. And then right after this plays, we're going to go really straight into a DVD menu. Um, so that's kind of like the gist of things. That's what we're going to be um, creating today. Um, if you guys want to use this um, as an example, um, Motion, like I was saying, um, Apple ships this um, same thing with the program Motion. It's um, I think it's probably royalty free. I might be surprised if it wasn't, but anyways, um, I haven't edited it in any ways. This is exactly how it was. Um, and then um, all we want to do is more or less take that. Um, luckily for us, DVD Studio Pro can read Motion files. So all you have to do is save it as a motion file and then bring it into your project. Um, but once we um, finish the intro, all that we need to do is create a little bit of a, of a freeze frame so we can um, then edit that image and use it as a menu. So here we got um, everything going. The playhead is at um, the very last frame or you know towards the last frame. Um, nothing else is going to be happening on the screen. So all that we need to do is come up here to File, Export, and then where it says the export option, come down and hit image, uh, not image sequence, but current frame. And um, where it says use, you can change the image to really anything you want. Um, I'd recommend going with a PNG or a TIFF file. Um, JPEGs, you know, those are compressed images. So I, I'm going with a TIFF file. Those always work um, well for me. And I'm going to call this um, tutorial end frame. Um, you know, feel free to title it whatever you want. And boom, there we go. Now we can close out of that come over here to our project um, in the assets log let's hit import tutorial end frame import and um, it comes into our project there it is if we can bring it into the graphical viewer we can double click it and see how it's looking um, so more or less that's kind of the basic gist of it um, in order to kind of set this up so everything works properly all I have to do is come over here on the DVD first play that um little um, sequence that we saw earlier today right click it hit first play and now um, that's going to be the thing that the audience sees when they first launch the DVD. Um, now after that we have to double click this again and over here in the inspector window where it says end jump we're going to need to set this. Um, an end jump can be for anything, it can be for the actual movie itself and then so basically what that means is like once the movie is done playing it'll jump to the you know the menu or really whatever you want to jump to so I'm going to come over here make sure it's um, go to menus menu one and menu and if we look into our graphical viewer we can see that this um the image was the uh, menu one so now if we come over here hit simulate really quickly um we'll change this to a 16 by 9 and we can watch it and make sure everything is um running smoothly as we saw that there's a little bit of a transition between the um, actual dvd um, and the image. Um, if we were to edit this a little bit, um, we maybe make this a little bit smoother. Um, however, this is probably bound to happen, um, especially you know um, on the DVD itself when you're burning it. Um, usually, the burning process it'll be a little bit of a jump, so that's totally normal. Um, don't worry too much about it. Um, so, anyways, that's basically it. You know, if we want um, wanted to kind of you know just go ahead, create some different buttons um, with some different text, um, we can go um, go ahead and do that route. However, I thought it'd be kind of fun to also um, show you guys how to kind of create some more custom buttons. And it's really simple. I'm going to delete menu one, come over here to motion again, and um, here's a project. I'm going to quickly create a new one. Hit file new, just like that. Um, open up the same folder that we were using earlier. 
And here we have the uh, tutorial end frame. Um, quickly bring this into the project. Zoom out a little bit so we can align this properly. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna bring this back to the 100% view. And um, what I want to um, quickly do is add some text along the bottom here. So um, maybe I'll say like play for one of them. Um, come over here to the inspector. I'm gonna change around the size a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. Come over here to styles. We can change the color of this. Um, so maybe sample something from inside of here. Maybe do kind of like a cool like little yellow. Um, we can also change the font, you know. Um, let's see format. Let's see would be kind of a cool font. I'm always terrible with selecting fonts. It takes me forever. That kind of looks cool. It's a little bit out of place with the rest of the DVD, but heck, I don't care. Something like that would be kind of cool. Um, now, if you want to you know, add more menus, just do a copy-paste, just like so. Maybe we'll say this one is like scene selection. I don't know. Whatever works for you guys. So I'm going to bring these to my project, making sure that they are easily legible. Um, we don't want to, you know, edit the background too much because that's not, um, you know, in the final product it's going to make everything look a little bit awkward, but I don't know, something like this would be good for now for tutorial purposes. Um, all I have to do, again, come up here to File, Export, then when it says Export, just use a current frame. Um, again, I'm going to be using a TIFF file, um, end frame, tutorial, um, maybe with menu. I don't know, something like that it works. Oh, uh, darn. Um, end frame with menu. How about that? There we go. Now it lets me do it. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Come over here to DVD Studio Pro again. Import. Let's find the proper one. End frame with menu. If we hit the space bar, we can do a preview. That's the proper one. Hit import, and it's imported into our project. Boom, it's right there. We can bring this into the graphical viewer again. Again, I'm setting the end jump back over to the menu one again. We got the little arrow going from the uh, project, to pro or not project, but the asset to the asset. We double click it. We can see everything is looking pretty good. It's all aligned properly. Um, now that all, um, now that, well, now that's all done. All that we have to do is set the buttons. So over here in the um, palette window, come over here to shapes across the top where it says Apple. Um, or if you have some custom ones, you can use those. Um, I'm just going to find one of the um, basic kind of, um, just kind of like an arrow, something that works well. Um, I want to size this down, and as you can see, if I'm just moving this around, it just kind of, um, the aspect ratio goes on the fence. But if we hit shift bar, and one of the um, corners, we can drag that down in size. Um, something like that looks pretty good. We can also do a copy and paste, and just bring it over for the other one. Making sure that they're lined up properly. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, now if I were to hit simulate, again, change it, um, this over to a 16 by 9 so we can view this properly. And boom. Um, I thought that looked pretty good. Um, obviously, if we had more assets, we can you know, set these buttons and make everything be, you know, linked together. Um, but anyways, that was this um, tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more, hit the little yellow button up there. Hit the subscribe button. I'm making these once a week. Um, you can also stay more connected on Facebook if you want to, you know, watch um, them on Facebook. I'll update the page every time I upload a new, um, I'll upload a new video. Um, that link, again, is also down below in the description. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a comment, like it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later and next week with another tutorial. Peace out.